to do a review for the Stretch Genie. Now I'm not one for wearing loafers and I don't really have a lot of leather shoes or really any. So the closest thing I have that aren't sneakers are just like my work shoes right here. So now the spray is only for leather. So I do have a friend of mine whose daughter is going to try these out on some of her fancy um, leather high heel shoes and she's going to try the um, rollers as well. So this is what comes in your stretch genie. You get a bottle of this stuff which is basically ethyl alcohol it seems like or at least predominantly and then you get two of these little stretchers that kind of go at an angle and there's really not much in the instructions that tell you which way to to put them in but as you can see there's sort of a slope so I'm assuming that would go towards the toe would make sense and then one of them is bigger than the other and I really can't figure out why that is since they go sideways why you wouldn't want to have both the same size but anyways that's what comes in it you have to get this in your shoe and spin it like this to open them up so now I did notice this seemed to work okay I've got one in here right now you can actually see the bulge from it on each side here it's kind of pushing the shoe out now these shoes are as you can see they don't have any lace they just pull on and so they were pretty tight in through here I think they have to do them that way to keep them on your feet so now they're probably gonna fall off when I put them on but we'll see so anyways I put the stretch genie little um, I don't know what you'd call this but anyways I shoved these in here and I tightened them I had a real tough time getting my hand in there to work this little thing and they're kind of plasticky kind of cheap so I think if you had open toed shoes you know or really open shoes like woman's shoes it'd probably be a lot easier to use but for me to get in there and actually turn this knob while these were shoved way into a pair of shoes like that was a little bit tricky and then you got to make sure you know which direction you're going to be pushing them when you get them finally set so a little bit difficult on that I don't think quite as easy as what they were making it so I didn't find a lot of use for them I'll go ahead and pull these out now they will stretch your shoe out you know a little bit more I can feel right off where the thing is pressed out it's kind of almost gotten a little bit of a funky shape now and it feels like it's pressing in a different spot but I could shove them back in and work them in that part too so I do think they work okay for actually, you know, I mean, obviously if you got something like this, you know, and you're pressing out a spot in the shoes, it's going to stretch them out a little bit. Now, as far as the spray, I really don't know. I think I'm still up in the air about that. Um, I guess if it's $10 and you've got some real issues with bunions or things and you've got some pain involved, these might be able to relieve or alleviate some of that pressure. But other than that, I just don't know. I'm, I'm skeptical. I'm not really going to recommend them, but I'll see what my friend's daughter Tia thinks when she tries them out. And then um, I'll try to come back and upload a review with her segment. She's actually starting to work on product reviews and stuff and wants to do some YouTube videos anyway. So she's going to do um, a little bit of a video of her trying them out and seeing how well they work for her. So I'll come back and get that up. But otherwise, Stretch Genie, I'd probably give it about a two, two and a half stars at best out of five. All right, guys, catch you on the next video.